What's up guys, Rydeck here from Rogue Sheep Gaming bringing you part 2 of our Halo 3 Skulls guide. Today we're going to be grabbing Tough Luck, Catch Fog, and Famine. We're going to start with Tough Luck. This is on the Salvo Highway. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to come out of a long tunnel onto hey, somewhat of a broken bridge and you're going to see this long gray pipe with some yellow ladders attached to it. Again, and you're also going to hear a up. Covenant Batter Cruiser pretty much flying over, shaking the shit out of everything. You're going to want to drop to the bottom and you're going to find some support columns kind of sitting around down here. Now you want to line yourself up perfectly here and just sort of jump from support structure to support structure. And hopefully you don't mess up because that's a tough one. And now you're just going to go ahead and walk to the end of the structure here and you'll see your skull right there on the platform. And just go ahead and crouch jump over to it. Now, the effect when you pick this skull up will basically make it so the enemies will dodge grenades and most splatter attempts, and it will also make it so you will face more kamikaze grunts. And also, picking up the tough luck skull will net you 10 gamer score for picking it up for the first time. We're going to be moving right along here. This is going to be the catch skull in the level of the storm. After you uh, sort of clear out this tunnel section when your uh, marines bring in the 50 cal to help you clean out this section, go ahead and grab the warthog. Uh, there's a few methods that you can do this, but uh, I prefer the warthog. It's a lot easier, so just go ahead and grab the warthog. And you just want to basically sort of uh, keep yourself down below the normal rate because if the normal rate gets destroyed, a checkpoint is activated and the skull will disappear. So you're going to drive around to the silo looking building right here. You sort of want to park the warthog with the uh, gunner section sort of facing on this little slope right here to get the maximum height advantage. A little bit of a fail right there. And you're going to jump on top of the silo and there will be your catch skull. Now, when you activate this skull, it will basically make the enemies and your allies throw twice as many grenades and they also have infinite grenades, so they can pretty much just throw grenades all day long. When you pick up that skull for the first time, you're going to net another 10 gamer score. Now, moving right along, this is going to be in the level floodgate. This is going to be the fog skull. Now, when you first spawn into this level, you pretty much want to run into the, the town of Voy here. Now, you're going to see a building with an ICBM launcher Overload to the tank. right of me here, and I'm just going to go ahead and line myself up in the middle of the street. The now, there's going to be an audio cue right there. You heard it. The Marines are going to start talking, and then the uh, flood combat forms going to drop out, and he was actually holding the skull. So, uh, you go ahead and uh, pick the skull up, and when you pick up fog, or when you activate it, I mean, it's going to basically disable your motion tracker. So you're not going to be able to see him on the radar, and you're going to net yourself, once again, another 10 gamer score for picking up the skulls. One more skull in this video, guys. We're going to be going to the level of the arc, and we're going to be picking up the famine skull. This one, there's a lot of different ways you can do it, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the easiest one that I found. We're going to go ahead and uh, when you're clearing out this center section, when you find out the door is locked right before uh, the uh, your ship lands, you actually uh, open this middle section here and in it is going to be a deployable cover. I went ahead and showed you what that looks like and I'm going to go ahead and speed this up in the interest of time here. Now you're going to come across here underneath that structure and you're going to notice some rocks that you can climb up. You're going to go ahead and climb up and you're going to notice these... Uh, beam-like support structures that are pretty much hanging out here on the side of this forerunner building and inside the last one on the right is going to be your skull. Now you're going to take it and you're going to line up this deployable cover and you're going to jump on top of it. Now mind you the fact that when you deploy your cover it will bounce so make sure you kind of deploy it a little bit up more on the ramp. You're just going to stand on top of that deployable cover and there is your skull. When you pick this up all enemies will drop half ammo when they drop their weapons. This is Rydeck from Rogue Sheep Gaming. Guys, you're going to pick up that 10 gamer score, and I will see you next time.